morning, everyone. Hello. I'm just going to talk to you guys. All right. I have a question. How many of you guys know what a boat is? Awesome, guys. So this part, it has no edge holding it up. It's just straight, and you have to stand on that. And this part is the only part that touches the water, these two. And when it picks up wind, when it picks up wind, it just starts to like glide, right? And it's super cool. And. Uh, Rule number one, when they first taught us, is that this, this, it gets pushed around by the wind. So obviously, if there's too much wind, it's going to fall over, right? And when it falls over, this part floats. So it's super easy to pick it back up. You just push it this way, and then you just keep going. Make sense? Yes? Awesome. Well, there were two people, there were two sailboats when I went, and I was on one. One person was driving one sailboat. The other person was driving another sailboat. And I went on a boat with, let's call him Mr. B. And Mr. B knew how to drive a sailboat. And we were having fun. We were on the sailboat. And then we crashed. But we didn't crash like a normal crash, like this, because that would be easy. You just pick it right back up. Instead. We looked like this. If my hands were the water, the rest of the boat was gone because it flipped all the way around. As I was falling off, it started to go like this because the water got caught the front of it. And once the front is under, it just flips right back over, right? So I was on the side. And it started to go, and I jumped off. I'm like, I'm not going to be under the boat when it flips. I jumped off and got propelled forward. You know, like, if you jump forward, that's all you go. But if you're riding a skateboard and jump forward, you're going to go a lot farther, right? Momentum. Science. It's awesome. Now, I jumped off, and there were two, three other people with me on the boat. The person driving it, Mr. B, and two of my friends. And we all fell off the boat. It was crazy. We had to have another motor boat, an actual boat, the ones you guys think of, come and pull us up. And it took maybe 20 minutes. We were sitting in the water trying to pull it out and finally got back up. And we got back on the boat. But me, I was so scared. I did not want to be on that boat anymore. But obviously, I had to be on the boat to get back to shore. And it was cold. And every little wave, I was terrified that we were going to flip over again. And I just really didn't want to be there anymore. And there, that's exactly what we looked like. There was, we were gone. There was no more us. It was just the top of the boat. So we had to pull this. And this is heavy, right? So when it pulled out of the water, it took a lot of effort. Either way, we pulled it up. We were back on the boat. And we just wanted to straight, go straight to shore. Because I didn't want to be on the boat anymore. Neither did anybody else. I was scared. I was terrified. But finally, we made it to shore without crashing anymore. A few weeks later, we went sailing again. And this time, it wasn't Mr. B driving the boat. It was Mr. J. And I was on the boat, and we were there. And I was still scared from last time. 
And so any little bump we'd hit, I'd be like, I don't want to do this. I was holding on to the mast, you know, just terrified. Did not want it. This is the mast, by the way. It's kind of cool. It holds up the sail. Uh, I was holding on. I did not want to fall. You guys can pass this around, actually. Just, I just did not want to fall. And so I turned to Mr. J and I said, I, I am so scared right now. And we'd already been on the water for like an hour. And I turned, I was like, I'm really scared that we're going to flip over. And he looked at me and he said, you know, if there weren't this many people on the lake today, I'd flip us over on purpose. I, w I was, why? Why would you do that? I just told you I'm scared. I don't want to flip over, right? Why would somebody say something like that? So I asked him why. And he said, because then you'd have a reason not to trust me. And then I realized, Mr. J never flipped over the boat with me in it. It was Mr. B. And because Mr. B flipped over the boat, I didn't trust Mr. J. And that wasn't right because he never flipped the boat over. And then I realized, we kind of do that with God sometimes. People do things that make us not want to trust. And then we learn, we don't learn, we don't trust God because of things other people do. But we should trust God because he never does anything that makes us, that should make us not trust him. Because he always keeps his promises and he's always there. And sometimes even Satan does things. And it's Satan that we shouldn't trust, not God. We should always trust God. So always remember that you got to get in the right boat and get in God's boat. And God will never flip you over in his boat. Thank you. Amen.